Welcome to the Maritime Safety Talk channel, where we bring you the latest news and insights on maritime safety and operations. I'm your host, Captain Muhammad, and I'm excited to share my knowledge and experience with you. In this channel, we'll cover a wide range of topics related to maritime safety, from navigation and communication to emergency response and equipment maintenance. Our goal is to help you stay informed and prepared for any situation you may encounter at sea. To make sure you don't miss any of our updates, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll be posting new content regularly, so stay tuned for more maritime safety talks. Now, let's get started with today's topic. Good day everyone. Today I'd like to talk about port state control inspections, focusing on first impressions and how to extend these inspections. When we first come on board, the initial impression is crucial. As port state control officers, we're looking for clear signs of a well-maintained and safely operated ship. From the ship gangway and safety net, this includes the overall cleanliness, the condition of the ship's equipment, and the crew's awareness of safety procedures. A positive first impression can set the tone for the rest of the inspection. However, our job isn't just about first impressions. We're here to ensure that all ships in our ports adhere to international conventions and national laws to prevent accidents and protect the marine environment. To extend the inspection, we delve deeper into the ship's operations. We review documents such as the ship's certificates, logs and records. We conduct a more detailed inspection of the ship's structure, machinery, safety equipment and living and working conditions. We also verify that the crew is properly certified and familiar with their duties. Remember, the goal of a port state control inspection isn't to find faults, but to ensure the safety and compliance of all ships. By maintaining a well-kept ship and adhering to all regulations, you can help make our job easier and ensure a smoother inspection process. In our upcoming videos, we will be providing a comprehensive breakdown of each port state control deficiency code to help you better understand and avoid any potential deficiencies, ensuring your vessel maintains the highest standards of safety and compliance. Thank you for watching. Don't forget subscribing to get every news, and I wish you a bon voyage and safe travels. I hope you found this information helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, take care, and have a great journey.